guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you my Sydney Supernova 2019 haul. So as you guys know, on the 22nd of June, um, I went to Supernova. It is my third time going, um, and as always, I picked up a few things a little bit more than expected, um, but that's totally fine. And I just wanted to show you guys what I did pick up and some of the awesome little things that I found. I love all of the pieces that I got, and I hope you guys love them as well. So let's get started. When I first got to Supernova, the number one thing I wanted to get done was the books. So I knew there was quite a lot of authors going and quite a few that I was also really interested in. So I wanted to get to them first just to make sure that I didn't miss out on anything. And I did end up picking up two books and getting them signed at Supernova. Um, so the first of which is Dead Queens by Astrid Schull. Um, I probably just butchered that, but <laughs> this one I'm very excited to read. Um, as you guys probably know, it's very hyped on um, booktube, and I did get it signed as well. So she wrote, Dear Lexi, bow down to the queen, and then she signed it as well. The design of it is stunning. The back definitely hooked me, and I'm really excited to read this one. While I was speaking to Astrid, she was also lovely enough to offer me one of the little pens. Hopefully you guys can see this, but it's got um, the symbol on it. And then she did offer me as well one of the little character tarot cards. I think these would be so cute to um, collect. They're honestly so well done and they're so sweet looking. So the next book that I picked up is actually an exclusive um, early purchase of Supernova. So I believe this special edition cover does come out in possibly September. Um, correct me if I'm wrong and it's just like early released for Supernova so I did pick that up and the author was there as well so that is Akane hopefully I did say that correctly so this is by Lynette Noni um, an Australian author as well so I'm always happy to support my Australian girls and this one does have the sp sprayed um, golden edges not sure if you can see that but it's got a little sparkle to it as well which is stunning and once you open it up you've got a full color map which is stunning and you've got these little illustrations in the back as well so again I haven't read it yet so I'm not sure who's my favorite character um, but I definitely will get back to you guys on that but this artwork is stunning I was so impressed. Um, it's got the little green bookmark in the bottom. Lynette was such a gem to me as well. She was hilarious. She was like, look, even if you don't love this book, it's beautiful. It's going to sit lovely on your shelves. Like, let's be real here. And I just couldn't believe how down to earth she was. Deviating from books for a little bit, I did pick up this bracelet with the charm symbol. It's just got a cute little leather band and an adjustable um, clip on that one. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm obsessed with charms. I actually met um, Shannon Doherty and Holly Marie Combs from the original Charmed last year at Supernova. I believe it was last year. Um, and I got a photo with them as well. And that was definitely the highlight of my entire year. This year I had planned on meeting um, Tom Welling and Michael Rosenbaum from Smallville. But unfortunately they did cancel. But you know, there's always another time. Supernova is great even if you're not meeting anyone. You make so many friends when you're just walking around talking to people. Like it's, it's just a great experience. I absolutely love going. The next item I did pick up, again, I'm so sorry. I can't remember the artist I bought it from. If anyone does know who makes these prints, um, please link her information down below so I can provide credit where credit is due. I thought her pictures were all so stunning, but I had to get this one. So it's a little picture of a Ravenclaw little mouse. I absolutely loved this little print um, as I myself, my zodiac sign is a rat or a mouse. Um, and then I do identify as a Ravenclaw as well. So I had to have this piece. I think I'm just going to use it as a little bookmark to be honest. This next item that I picked up, I do know who created it. So on Instagram, her name is Vreemdeers. This girl was so sweet. Um, we actually bonded over the item that I did pick up, this little keychain. So I'll show you guys a close up, but this is actually a little Bichon Frieze um, in a NASA outfit. Um, I used to have two little Bichons. Um, their names are Kiki and Jasmine. And she herself has one, a little Ollie. Um, and if you do look up her Instagram page, she has a whole little um, story dedicated to him. And it is so cute. I'm obsessed. 
the haircut that Bichons often have with the powder puff head. That's what inspired her to put on the little NASA outfit because he looked like a little astronaut. And I thought that was so cute. And you honestly don't see that much Bichon merchandise. Like if you have a Bichon, let me know where you get your stuff from because I hardly ever see it. It's not one of the more popular breeds, but it definitely should be. Like if you've got a Bichon, you know, they are the alpha dog. They are, they are top dog, honestly. The next item I got, I'm extremely excited to show you guys. For one, I didn't know this company even existed until I went to Supernova. And then two, for it to be there and available to purchase, I was so excited. So within the first, I'd say, hour, um, I'd actually spent $80 on books. Not gonna lie, I was pretty happy. My bank account probably wasn't. But I think these were honestly amazing little purchases. I'm so happy with them. Um, so let's get on to this next item. This purchase was actually a subscription box. It is done by an Australian group called the YA Chronicles. Um, and like I said, I didn't know that these guys existed. But I was so happy once I found them. They had, oh, I want to say like maybe six or seven boxes that you could choose from. But this is the one that I went with. It was called Space Adventures. Um, I'll leave the information for these guys down below, but let's get into the items. When you open this one up, there's this beautiful little purple tissue paper in there which matches with the entire theme and all the items that are included in this box. So the first item in this box is the Book Hangover Natural Soy Wax Candles. Um, and this one, once you open it, it's got a beautiful purple colour to it. It's got glitter on it. And the smell, oh my god, it's so beautiful. So the smell is meant to be citrus, pineapple, vanilla, and candy. But honestly, guys, this smells like lollies. And like, not those cheap ones, but like the good ones. And I'm definitely interested to see if it is as strong when you burn it. Um, because I love some strong candles. Like, you know those ones you get at um, Peter Alexander, the glass house candles? I love those. The strong smells are what get me, so... I will update you guys with how this one goes. The next item I saw in the box is the Sweet Cherry Soda Milky Way Jelly Soap. It's again got that dark purple design. It very much is like jelly. <laughs> um, and when you touch it, it's got a nice consistency. Like it's not too wet. Um, it feels really like as though it would be really moisturizing. And the smell, like that is like a more intense version of the candle. It's so nice. The next item in this box is a little necklace. It's definitely very sweet, very delicate. It kind of matches with the bracelet that I got. It's got the leather and then the adjustable chain. Um, and then the pendant bit is a little galaxy. I've actually got one like this with a four-leaf clover in it. So I think they'll definitely look cute together. Um, and you can pair it with a lot of different things because it's just black leather. That goes with everything. Before I get onto the book, I'll show you the last few paper items that did come in here. Um, so we've got these beautiful little tarot cards with all the different characters on them. Um, and on the back, spoiler for what the book is, um, we've got Aurora Cycle written on there. Um, the artwork of these honestly looks so beautiful. Again, I haven't read the book, so I can't comment on whether these characters look like what I expected. Um who's my favourite and nothing like that but I will keep you guys updated with how I go when I do read the book. The next item we've got is a little bookmark and this is the um, sort of theme for the box. So Space Adventures, it's written just on the back and I love me a bookmark, you know, you can never have too many of them. So the next item I should probably show you that I should have probably shown in the beginning um, is the little spoiler card. So it's got this stunning little print on it which is inspired by the theme um, Space Adventures and just on the back of that it's got all the items, where they're from, a little blurb about the book, um, all of that little information. We've also got this little print um, with the Aurora Rising cover on it as well. Um, and then on the back, we've got this little quote, which says, They're not the heroes we deserve, they're just the ones we could find. So that's quite intriguing. I'm definitely interested to see how that plays in with the novel. We also got this beautiful little book play, which is signed by both of the authors as well. Finally, this is the book that did come in the box. So it is Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff quite a thick one. Um, I have heard a lot of good things about it so I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, it's got like quite a mix like it seems to have these little map pictures in it. It's got these little bits. 
So I'm definitely intrigued about what this book will be about. So that's all my items for you guys. Um, I didn't pick up too many things. I think I did pretty well. I didn't go overboard or anything like that. Um, and I'm very happy with all of the purchases I did make. They're all very special to me and it's all things I would definitely get a lot of use out of as well. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little haul. I know it wasn't probably that interesting. I didn't really buy that many things. Um, but yeah, if there's anything you liked, I will leave all the information down below. So please do check out all these different places. And I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya!